Wow, how many uh, how many channels show something that's not available yet? <laughs> that happens sometimes. This is brand new from All Powers, and it's we've seen one in here before. This is the R600, but it's the new, changed, uh, improved R600 model. So I can take a look at that today. The other thing that All Power sent over to us was this solar panel, and it's flexible, and it's 100 watt, and it's great for like camping, RV, that sort of thing, or just anywhere. If you need portable, you know, solar power, and I have a panel, this might be for you. Okay, let's get into this today. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, so All Power sent this over to us and they didn't really specify a release date per se. And I just checked their website this morning. It was like, this ain't on there yet. It was like, uh oh. <laughs> but we will have links in the description below for, I guess, we're hopefully where you can find this because uh, All Power is supposed to send me all that, maybe some discount coupons and stuff. Also, we'll talk about the panel. But the first thing I wanted to talk about was the R600. And, you know, if you've seen them before or if you know the one we had here before, it was great. There's a Battleship Gray. Looks like the rest of them out there. There's so many companies making these things right now, but uh, all powers. This particular model is really nice. I like the, the handle feature for one where you can pick it up and walk around like a lunchbox. But the big thing was they made some changes, and when they did that, they also changed the collar. And I really appreciate that because at a glance, you can tell immediately, pretty obvious, you know, yeah, this is not the old gray one. No, <laughs> this is the, uh, I guess we'll call it the new improved model. And they made, you know, hopefully, maybe the price will come down a little bit too. I'm not sure about that, but uh, there are some differences. And I don't know how early a model this is because sometimes these companies send this stuff over and then they, oh, by the way, the new, new, new model has whatever on it. But the R600, 600 watt can charge off solar, off the house, plug it into the car, charge it. So it's great standby power, portable power to go wherever you want to go. Let's talk about the changes. And the very first thing we're going to look at, uh, the very first thing you're going to notice with the old gray one to this one is right here, there was some DC outputs that were kind of, I hate to say useless, but they're I don't know if anybody's ever used them for anything, so, so you know, and they're gone, and that's fine because they still have the cigarette lighter plug, which I think is still a handy item, but even that I think has some limitations to it. You have your standard two output plugs, of course, and the 600 watt rating of things, but you have a color change and there's something else. This has been mentioned to me a number of times, and it's not something that would concern me personally, but you know, other people would like to hear it. Uh, they've changed the fan, the, the cooling fan system that works in here, and the new one is, they, they tell me it's a lot quieter. As a matter of fact, when we charged this up and we tested it, I did not hear the fan running. Yeah, it, maybe the fan is even better than what they, they said it was better, improved, it was quieter, but it was like, yeah, quiet, I can't hear any fan running. Maybe the fan's not running, maybe it's going to overheat, you know, no. So let's talk about that fan noise. Uh, I've got a sound meter here, and the fan is on right now, which you may or may not be able to even hear it. But uh, I'm gonna put my meter up on the on the fan here. It's about 45, 46 dB. And if I just hold it up here, I've got 40 just, yeah, 40 in my shop here without that. So the fan looks like it's about five, five dB more than the ambient racket around me, including that bird screaming out there right now that's talking. So. It is a lot quieter. They said it was. Yeah, it is. It's a lot quieter. That's probably the biggest change. The other components, which is good, like the handle, the uh, the charging on top. There was somebody that said something about charging on top. So we're going to try that right now and just see, because I never tried it last time with the other unit. So let's try that right now. I'll just tip that over a little bit. Uh, the phone is charging on the top right now. And I've got a protective plastic well, case on here and it's still charging it. It's charging right through the plastic case. I gotta put it on there again and just there it is. Uh one other color change of course the power cord. It's it now matches well it always did. The old one was a black cord. This one is a nice light color. 
They're calling this beige. It kind of looks gray to me, but uh, this looks like a beigey gray, whatever. Anyway, who cares, right? The light is the same. The USBs with A, USB-C, the same. It has that really nice digital layout up here too, which is really pretty. I like the digital with the power button on and off. You can switch in and switch out with what you want to use for charging. This is a power station. I mean, I can plug a drill into this thing and run it, you know, so I can plug my tools in and, you know, run it portably out in the middle of Yaya land someplace. I really like this whole idea because uh, I like corded tools as opposed to, you know, you know, those batteries that we're always uh, messing with. Anyways, the units otherwise are basically at that point about the same, just the color differences. And there's one other thing that I did open up here and that of course was the solar panel. And I don't know if this is available yet either. This is brand new from, from all powers and it's a flexible solar panel. So we're gonna take, we're gonna discharge this a little bit, uh, run it down, we'll plug something in and just run, the, run it down a little bit. And then uh, with your package from all powers, with the power station, you also get this, which is really nice because it's a nice standard looking uh, set of cables to hook into a solar panel with, or portable solar panels. And you have the XT60 uh, plug here, which will plug in the side just like the old one to charge it up because that's what I like to do. But like I said, it's, it's free power. And when you have the panel plus this package, you can charge this bad boy up. But how long will it take? Well, we don't know. So let's run this down. I'm gonna go plug it in and we'll just run the 600 watts off for a little bit. We'll bring it, bring it down to uh, whatever percentage and we'll take the panel outside and I think we'll do it right on the, the hood of my Jeep or something, you know, and, <laughs> and see how it all works out. So I've got the soft panel laid out on the hood of the Jeep for the 100 watts. It's about noon time, so we're gonna get our best possible, uh, hopefully the best possible power. And we're gonna plug our XT 60 into the unit here to start charging it up. I brought it down to 75% uh, after plugging a 300 watt load in and leaving it sit for a while. And it's kind of hard to see in the sunlight here, so I might have to get you guys close up to see what's going on here. Okay, so right now, actually, let's take this off. That way it'll, <laughs> it'll be a little easier to see. <laughs> get the plastic off, but that would be an idea. It's uh, at six, it's showing 69 watts coming in, which is expected. It's not going to be 100, uh, even though it is right now. It's prime conditions for the day. We've already come up 1%, so we're at 76, and we're charging. We're climbing back up to where we were. And over time, this will charge up 70. Oh, wow, 69. Okay, 69, 70%. So this will take a while, but you could leave this for an hour, a couple hours, whatever, like this throughout the day with the sun beating on that panel. And obviously it's going to recharge fully back up and you'll have your whole 600 watt uh, system ready to go, go again, fully charged. So now that's, uh, this is the soft pack panel. I'm gonna take it away for a minute. Mm. We're gonna come back and look at the rest of the features on that panel in a second, but this is the all powers uh, hard pack. Uh, kit that comes from uh, all powers and it's a hard pack solar panel package that's really nice and we'll just connect these back up and we'll just see if there's any difference it should be should be reading about the same and uh, we'll just compare the soft package to the I guess we'll call it the hard pack it's coming up to 53 watts and yeah 56 we're, we're still coming up a little bit at a time when I change these connections out I use this little tool right here the MX 36 tool and that that's just it, it goes between the connections here and makes it easier to disconnect the various panels there'll be a link in the description below where you can uh, find this little guy real handy to have around because we're constantly switching cables around so it's kind of nice to have something 57 watts so I'm not really getting the power out of this that I was that soft pack but the soft pack had a nice roll to it for the sunlight and this is this is a much flatter uh, panel system so ultimately you sort of want to really get this you know just set it up a little more to work towards the sun and see how we do we're still running about 53 watts we're still not getting the full blown thing but let's go in the shop and take a look at that soft pack that is pretty neat Shoo. Wow. Uh, first thing I wanted to point out too is you'll notice these spots here on this panel there's that tool again. And it comes with straps. So you can strap this down to uh, a boat would be another place where you might want to use something like this. And the other thing it has that, you know, is really nice is it has a really 
really nice silicon type backing on here which would be you know somewhat scratch resistant I would think to most surfaces and also I am really getting myself into a mess here with these cables this is the two cables that you'll tie into and this is rated at 100 watts there's always going to be an efficiency situation but uh, you know usually about 80 80 to 85 percent is average for any panel I don't care who made it it's like that's where you're going to end up but at this time uh, checking against that hard pack versus this flexible look at the look at the look at this thing you know flexible panel yeah this one here actually was showing you know, better output than the, than the good one. Uh, this again is something new from uh, All Powers, and it's more based towards the uh, RV, the camping. You can tie this up on you know the hood of the Jeep, whatever, or a boat. You know the marine applications, that kind of thing. Anywhere where you want to be able to tie up a solar panel really tightly, because look at these, got these really nice slotted grommets in here to hold this thing in place and you could have a 100 watt panel to help charge like in my case a charge a power station that power station by the way will be uh, fully charged in approximately 40 minutes and it's right around 85 percent fully charged now as it is it's, it's coming up pretty quickly and again once it's fully charged i have 600 watts that i can use for running power tools 3d printers or running whatever i want and I'm not on the grid, which again, I, I, I like that idea. But also I have emergency power. If for some reason we have a, <clears throat> a blackout, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> we have power. And this, this is just more or less uh, the idea of being not just portable, but the fact that it's a bit flexible. So you can kind of get, you know, get it laid out wherever you want. I think this uh, silicon type uh, backing on it would help it to maybe stick in place a little bit too. And so it's, the panel has, some nice features. It's going to be, it's a premium panel, so it's probably going to be a premium price. I haven't even seen a price on this yet. Again, I checked the uh, All Powers this morning and I didn't see this on here yet, but we will have a link in the description below. If we don't today, check back for any of this stuff because a lot of this stuff is so new that the links might be provided in a couple days or it might be a week. You may have to come back and just check on me. Uh, we'll have links for everything that we, sh you know, that we're showing today. But um, this Hunter Water is kind of impressive because uh, the other one I expected would be higher was actually lower than what this was doing. So that's pretty amazing. I don't know if they have a rating on here. They, I guess they do. Yeah, they do. Okay, let's check the rating on the All Powers uh, flexible solar panel. It is sub supposed to be 100 watt. Um, open voltage is up to 30 volts and the short circuit Current is almost, uh, well, 4.5 amps. Uh, maximum uh, output voltage should be 25 volts with the, uh, let's see, maximum connection 4.1 amps. The maximum system voltage is 120 volts, which is uh, just because of the wiring and stuff like that, it's, it's not what you, that's not what you think. <laughs> And the maximum conversion rate, 22 to 25 percent e, uh, efficiency, and water resistant. So again, this can get caught out in the weather. You're not going to hurt it. In fact, uh, yeah, it looks pretty darn indestructible right now. And the size is actually 39.6 uh, inches by 22.8 inches. So there you go on American size. Uh, weight wise. Uh, let's see, we've got 5.2 pounds, so it does feel a little on the heavy side. But like I said, this is a premium, huh, flexible, yeah, solar panel, and it is, it is just cool. It is just neat. So here's something worth noting. Uh, I have the gray one here, obviously, right up until about a week ago. It was going to be sitting right here so I could compare the two units side by side, which really, you sort of don't have to. They almost look identical except the, the one piece is up here. The, uh, I loaned it out and the fella said he likes it so much because he's using it for testing electrical systems before they put them up to uh, install. So at the last minute, he plugs them into a system like this to make sure everything's good to go. Then they go ahead and do the installation part up above them and stuff. So anyway, he said, I like the little gray one that he got from me so much. He said, you're not getting it back and you're never going to see it again. And uh, so 
yeah, she won't be back. <laughs> so we can't put them side by side as it turns out. Uh, I had talked to All Power and at one point we had discussed the possibility of having them side by side so we could, you know, really do the comparison thing or whatever. But the biggest, biggest, biggest thing is this fan is almost whisper quiet and also the color change, of course. That's really the two big things that really happened here, I think, anyways. But that's, you know, my take on it. I'm hoping that they'll have a better price on this one because it looks like they dropped a couple of features that, you know, you and I would need anyway. So, you know, we'll see. Uh, it's looking good. Solar panel thing, same thing. A flexible solar panel that looks really heavy duty. That's pretty cool. Anyways. I'm going to get out of here right now, and I'm going to say that was it. And thank you very much for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell, and I'm out of here. Over and out. <laughs>